We are getting answers tonight from the State Department of Transportation on why, even how, an elevated interstate bridge was able to flood during an afternoon thunderstorm yesterday. That, of course, snarled traffic at what is already a choke point leading up there to the bridge. News News Fallon Brown reports on the drainage problem and how this was fixed. The sun was shining and traffic was flowing smoothly on the bridge Wednesday afternoon, but that was a completely different story the day before. This is the first time anyone can remember that area holding water. An afternoon thunderstorm quickly dumped two inches of rain on Baton Rouge, causing flash flooding on the westbound side of the Mississippi River Bridge. Drivers were left with no choice but to carefully go through it, and a rush hour mess ensued. That has caused westbound traffic to back up all the way throughout the city, and look at that. 100 minutes is your estimated drive time right now from SN2 LA1. Definitely not an ideal situation for drivers to be in. The Department of Transportation on the scene within the hour, quickly identifying the issue trash and debris clogging drains. So when our guys went over there to clear that out, that's the first thing they started digging out was all the litter. So people could help our flooding problems, not just on the river, Mississippi River Bridge, but throughout the whole community if they'd quit littering. The drains on the bridge are cleared out twice a year, according to DOTD, and they say the second annual cleaning just barely missed the mark. As luck would have it, they were scheduled to be cleaned last night, westbound, and eastbound tonight. DOTD says the drains are clear now, but the problem could have been avoided if everyone worked to keep things clean. So people could help our flooding problems, not just on the river, Mississippi River Bridge, but throughout the whole community if they'd quit littering. Fallon Brown, WBRZ News 2.